Refractive surgery is anything that changes the prescription of the eye. That's the glasses or the contact lens prescription. Most of the time when we talk about refractive surgery, we're talking about corneal surgery, surgery on the front surface of the eye. LASIK and PRK are very, very similar. They're, they're almost like a cousins that might look alike. Because what we do is we, we basically treat the front surface of the eye by making a flap in LASIK. We do a partial thickness flap of your windshield, your cornea of your eye. And then we laser underneath of that with LASIK, and then we lay that flap back down. And that's, that again can correct farsightedness, nearsightedness, um, or astigmatism. So all three of those are correctable with LASIK and PRK. So the difference with PRK is we don't make a flap. We just laser right on the surface. Well, both procedures are corneal refractive surgical procedures. PRK creates a flatness or a steepness on the front surface of the eye. LASIK creates a flap first and then does, uses that same laser to create that steepness or that flatness. So one's under a flap and one is without a flap. First, the beginning, you say, well, we're going to take a look at you and see whether you're a good candidate or not. Some people have suggested that refractive surgery, no matter whether it's PRK or LASIK or whatever, is a, are procedures only for normal eyes. And you can make a good argument that that's true. So we're going to make sure that they have a normal eye in every other respect. I prefer them to be more like 25 years old and maybe 55. So if I narrow that zone to about 30 years, I'd say that's about the ideal candidate for this procedure age-wise. And then you know, certainly tell the patients of the options available and then proceed if they want to do that. The surgery itself I thought would be a little more scary and it really wasn't. I think they did an amazing job, you know, not only with the, the surgery but beforehand. The surgery itself, I think I was in there for an hour um, from the very, you know, beginning to when I got to go home. and. Um, but surprisingly, I had no pain at all. Um, I did what the doctor told me to do. I saw him every three to five days, and by day 20, I could see 2015. Dr. Witted uh, and the staff were great. Uh, I came in for the consultation, my wife and I, and we went through all the uh, pros and cons, the costs, they, and they made you feel comfortable because uh, they answered every question that we asked. I'm very satisfied uh, with Midwest Eye Care. He uh, had me come in for regular checks right away and uh, was very attentive to my questions and my needs, and uh, I absolutely would go back 100% uh, and do the uh, surgery again. It depends on the procedure. Now, PRK takes longer to heal than, than, than LASIK. PRK was developed first, and then uh, because of the early lasers, the quality of the ablations that we created on the surface of the eye, somebody said, well, let's, do so, let's create this under a flap so we don't have to go through that period of, of, of re-epithelialization or covering over the front surface of the eye with the thin layer that, that is normally there. So somebody said, let's do this under a flap. So we created LASIK. LASIK heals faster. Your return in vision is quicker. Ultimately, the visual outcome for the two procedures is essentially equivalent. I think sometimes people, when they have this done, they think this is going to last forever. We'd like to tell them that, but I honestly cannot. When we get older, if you had it when you're 25 and now you're 40 years old and 15 years later, you're going to need reading glasses. Okay, that, and you had perfect vision maybe with LASIK for 15 years, now you can't read up close. That's just a change of your eye. That doesn't mean that your LASIK's bad, but you're going to need reading glasses. Part of it is that this doesn't always last forever from a patient's perspective. Most people's eyes change. Those changes are small, so we're not looking at quantum leap here. We're looking at small changes, so I would expect those small changes. That, you know, this is, a, this is a great procedure. These aren't perfect procedures. None of them are perfect procedures, and the eye continues to evolve as we age. We want them to feel comfortable with their decision and then we want them to go through a process and we want them to get the best outcome that they can possibly have. The bottom line is we're in there to help you, first of all, to make sure that you understand that this is the right procedure for you and that we're going to be there until, you know, until you get the kind of outcome that you expect. One thing that I particularly eased my mind is during the surgery, Dr. Witt had talked to you the whole time and he explained to you what he was doing. So when you're sitting there with your eyes 
uh, under the laser, everything is blurry. It's like looking through ice cubes. And when he's talking to you, telling you what, it, what he's doing and what's going to happen next, it completely eased your mind. And that made me feel extremely comfortable throughout the procedure. I think that we just, we try to explain things. We try to go to the nth degree of making sure patients understand it. But the point is that I think we do take the whole eye into account and determine whether you're a good candidate or not. And I think that's, that's what sets us apart. We're in there for the, for the long term for them. We're in there to help them for the procedure. I'm as, I'm as invested in the procedure as they are. I want them to do well, and I will do everything I can to make sure that that happens. And I will personally be involved in their care from the beginning to the end. One of the most rewarding things for me as a surgeon is to see patients come in, and a lot of those patients are very, very delighted with this. I, I would say the majority of patients by far are extremely happy, and, and that's what we hear a lot of with our procedures in refractive surgery. I'm very satisfied. I am glad that I got it done. Dr. Hopman, and everyone at Midwest Eye Care has been very great to work with. They've been very nice every time I've come in and adjusting my appointments if I needed to for work. I thought Midwest Eye Care was the very best place I could have gone for this. They were very good at reassuring me along the way that this is what is supposed to happen. So I would absolutely recommend Midwest Eye Care for refractive surgery. I'm very satisfied with the procedure. My vision is uh, improved over what it was, even with contacts at 2015 now. Dr. Witted and Midwest Eye Care and their staff were wonderful. I'd recommend LASIK to anyone that's worn contacts for a number of years. It's just wonderful to be able to get up in the morning and be able to see clearly without fumbling around for glasses and, and that sort of thing.